So here's the challenge. We want to work on subnetting a network, but we don't want to have to go into binary to figure out how to do it. Well, there is a way to do this using a subnetting cheat sheet, and that's going to be the focus of this video. So as a reference, let's start out by listing out all of the values that we can have in a subnet mask. And they are 0, 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, 252, 254, and 255. And remember, these are the only values that are allowed to be in a subnet mask. We talked about how to create this list somewhere else, so we're not going to go through it right now, but we are going to use this as a reference when we build our subnetting cheat sheet. Now that we have that, let's work on the first line of our subnetting cheat sheet, and that's going to be this, slash 24, 255.255.255.0, 255.255.255.0, 255.255.255.0, 255.255.255.0, 255.255.255.0, 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
a total host in minus two. So in this case, 512 minus two equals 510. Now we're just gonna repeat this process for as many lines as we want our chart to have. So here's what it'll look like when we're done. I stopped this chart at a slash 18 network. Now you could continue to go higher. You just repeat the same process as you keep going and you can take this as far as you want. In another video, we're going to show you how to subnet using this particular chart. But we need to start by learning how to build a chart. And remember, there are only two things we really need to memorize in order to make this work. We need to memorize the slash 24 line. We need to memorize the list of valid values in a subnet mask. And then everything else is just the process that we can use to build our chart to help us in subnetting.